Good morning. Tom and I are here with you today and uh, for morning prayer on April 2nd on Thursday. I hope, uh, I hope your day is going well. Uh, so let us begin for uh, morning prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. O oh Lord, open my lips and my and mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was Lord in the beginning, is now, now and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is near Here to those who call on him. him. O oh, come, and let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. Well, today's psalm is Psalm 27. One that we need to hear right now for sure. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength and my life. Of whom then should I be afraid? When evildoers come upon me to eat up my flesh, it was they, my foe, and my adversaries who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, yet my heart shall not be afraid. And though war should rise up against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he shall keep me safe in his shelter. He shall hide me in the secrecy of his dwelling and set me high upon a rock. Even now he lifts up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer in the dwelling an oblation with sounds of great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. You speak in my heart and say, seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor turn away with your servant in displeasure. You have been my helper. Cast me not away. Do not forsake me, O God, of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will sustain me. Show me your ways, O Lord. Lead me on the level paths. Because of my enemies, deliver me not into the land of my adversaries, for false witness have risen up against me, and also those who speak malice. What if I have not believed that I should see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living? I tarry and await the Lord's pleasure. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Let us pray. Gracious Father, protector of those who hope in you, you heard the cry of your son and kept him safe in your shelter in the day of evil. Grant that your servants who seek your face in times of trouble may see your goodness in the land of the living. Through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, we continue uh, in our story and in the book of uh, Exodus. Seven days passed after the Lord had struck the Nile. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go that they may serve me. But if, if you refuse to let them go, behold, I will plague all your country with frogs. The Nile shall swarm with frogs, which shall come up into your house and into your bedchamber and onto your bed and into the house of your servants of all your people and into your ovens and your kneading bowls. The frogs shall come up on the uh, up." on you and on your people and on all your servants. And the Lord said to Moses, say to Aaron, stretch out your hand with your rod over the rivers, over the canals and over the pools and cause frogs to come up to the land of Egypt. So Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. But the magicians did the same by their secret arts and brought frogs up to the land of Egypt. 
Then Pharaoh called Moses and Aaron and said, Entreat the Lord to take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let the people go to sacrifice to the Lord. Moses said to Pharaoh, Be pleased to command me when I am to, when I am to re-entreat for you and for your servants and for your people, that the frogs be destroyed from you and your house, houses and be left only in the Nile. And he said, Tomorrow. Moses said, Be it as you say, that you may know that there is no one like the Lord our God. The frogs shall depart from you and your house and your servants and your people. They shall be left only in the Nile. So Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, and Moses cried to the Lord concerning the frogs, and he had agreed with Pharaoh. And the Lord did according to the word of Moses. The frogs died out of the houses and the courtyards and out of the fields, and they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was a respite, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them, as the Lord had said. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to Aaron, Stretch out your rod and strike the dust on the earth that it may be, become gnats throughout all the land of Egypt. And they did so. Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and struck the dust of the earth. And there came gnats of man and beast. All the dust of the earth became gnats throughout all the land of Egypt. The magicians tried by their secret arts to bring forth gnats, but they could not. So there were gnats on man and beast. And the magician said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them, as the Lord had said. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from 2 Corinthians, the third chapter. Now, if the dispensation of death, carved in letters on stone, came with such splendor that the Israelites could not look at Moses, Face because of its brightness fading as it at, at as this was, will not the dispensation of the spirit be attended with greater splendor? For if there is splendor in the dispensation of condemnation, the dispensation of righteousness must far exceed it in splendor. Indeed, in this case, what once had splendor has come to have no splendor at all, because of the splendor that surpasses it. For if what faded away came with splendor, what is permanent must have more splendor. Since we have such hope, we are very bold, not like Moses who put a veil over his face so that the Israelites might not see the end of the fading splendor, but their minds were hardened. For to this day, when they read the old covenant, they, uh, that some veil remains un unlifted because only through Christ is it taken away. Yes, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over their minds. But when a man turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being changed into his likeness from one decree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks Happy be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But and now in these last, last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit 
as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. Let justice roll down like water, and and righteousness like an overflowing stream. Let us pray. Lord, come to us. Free us from the strain of our sins. Help us to remain faithful to the holy way of life, and guide us to the inheritance you have promised. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you remove this virus that is haunting our country, that you be with all those inflicted with it to bring healing to all those in in family as they they wait. Bring peace and comfort to all. Lord, all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity in all that we do. Direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come. come. Thy Thy will be done done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, it's good to be with you again on this uh, Thursday morning, and we hope that you will join us again tomorrow. Uh, My goodness, how quickly the week is going. So take care, God bless, and stay safe. Bye.